Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be giving you an updated tour of my motorhome that I've been living in for just under two and a half years. Let's do it shall we? This is take two of this video. So this is uh, a tour of my motorhome that I've been living in for just under two and a half years. So it is a Swift Sundance 2.3 JTD diesel, uh, 2005. Uh, bought it at 34,000 miles on the clock. One owner from new, currently about 55,000 miles on the clock. So I put about 20,000 on there. I've been 99% urban camping, wild camping parking streets laybys country lanes uh, industrial estates you name it i park there i very rarely go near campsites apart from a couple of times a year when i've got three or four days off and i just want to chill and i want to park somewhere fixed and apart the only other times i go to sites or actual grounds would be when i do a meetup with all the other YouTube weirdos or or any other festivals or something like that. Um, so let's have a little look around in the outside, shall we? So, it's new since the last time I showed you around. Right, so we've got, um, up here is a new window because I had a window blowout. Uh, it's not new, but well, it is new. That's damaged, that's completely broken. Step's dead. That's not, that needs replacing, but they're like 400 pounds to replace a step that I barely use because I usually walk through. Um, so yeah, continuing around the motor home, what else is new? Uh, we've got CCTV on all, there's one just there, and then there's two here. So I've got CCTV on all four corners, as well as a reversing camera and down camera while I'm driving. Uh, which has got a monitor in the front uh, as well as that I have got a light LED light strip all along here which is brilliant obviously it's daylight so you can't really see much but you can see where it is uh, and that was courtesy of Kev wandering one bolt uh, he's a diamond he is uh, we have got solar on the roof but I'm going to talk about solar when I get in the motorhome yeah, I've still got a damaged window there. It is double skinned, so it's only the outer skin that's damaged. I do need to get a new one, but like I say, I'm just looking at... Then stuff for motorhomes is just not cheap. As soon as you have to buy a motorhome, that's it, price doubles. So I'm just looking out for one on eBay um, as and when come, one comes along. The only other thing on the outside, apart from the Solar, is a Max, Max Air Deluxe fan, which I'll show you some footage of now and my gas bottles which are uh, LPG safe fill gas bottles so yeah that's basically the outside been living in it full time constantly just traveling around doing my day-to-day -day -day life working full time as a truck driver and then parking up every day so and I've had no problems uh, I'm loving loving the van life I will warn you now <coughs> It isn't tidy inside. Well, it's actually tidy, but the uh, the actual cupboards are not tidy because they are going to be an upcoming video of me sorting out the junk and sorting out the crap and getting rid of bits and bobs <laughs> once and for all because stuff just seems to get in and just come in, you know? You just collect stuff. Right here, look at the sticker wall. If uh, any of you got stickers, I want them, you need to be on the wall. I've got a few more spaces here and then I need to start filling up here. I want all this full. And then we're gonna start moving on to here. Like a professional, I've got my notes. 
because I didn't really do it that well last time. Right, so this is the motorhome. You've all seen it on, if you've seen other, motor, other videos of mine, you've seen the motorhome because that's where I am full time. So I'll just give you a quick walk around and uh, I'll overlay some footage. There's my CCTV system working. And, you know, oh look, shameless plug, shameless plug, my stickers. <laughs> now, if any of you see me on the road while I'm out and about, feel free to stop me and uh, uh, ask for a sticker. One, you can, definitely have, you can definitely have whatever one you want. There's a big one there. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, you're more than welcome to have a sticker. Right, let's get on with the mods. Let's start down this end. That's my bed. Nothing really new there apart from the window. I've got a seven inch monitor up there, which links directly to my CCTV system, which is here. And then the actual CCTV system itself is there. If we then move back down, let me just open this. Nothing's really changed in the front. I've got the, the classic Mevi cup, coffee cup holder. Cheers, Mevi. Um, basically, this chair, because I'm, I'm usually riding solo, so that's usually for my work bag and my work jackets. This is the uh, rear view camera. So I'll show you some uh, footage of that. If we move back now to the toilet and shower, the only thing that's been done in here is the shower tray has been re resealed because there was a hairline crack. Um, I've got a minute bit of damp at the moment. Uh, so it's puffed out this MDF, which is going to get looked at in a week's time. Continuing down the motor home, we have got uh, a drinking tap. I had a filtered drinking tap put in. So I've got my normal one because I fill, I fill up water from anywhere. Now I'd like to add because I've got a popular video about how to find water that there is no problem with the water that I was finding and I did drink it from my normal tap that wasn't filtered perfectly fine I cook with it shower with it I still shower with it I still cook with it not a problem I just did it because I could you know so there's a there's a filter under the under the back down here yeah there's a filter there so it runs runs through that and then straight out the tab so pretty simple really now next mod thanks to my mate kev he is a lifesaver and a very skilled man he these were on the roll the the morning i went to go see him and then it was just a roll of fabric and then he made these up so they're basically hooked on the door they're velcroed on the back of the door and oh yeah as you can see they hold all my kitchen utensils uh, that's got foil and a few other bits and bobs. Then this one's a knife rat, uh, knife roll, but on the door. So don't roll. Uh, he made these, but he only made these because I had the idea from B-Roll Mandy from Gadget John on Tour. The Gadgets. Um, mine are very manly, very rugged, very, you know, from from at the, at the world and they'll come back bouncing at you because, you know, they're made from army uh, cord cordorial. Cordora, Cordora, I don't know how you say that, but it's tough stuff. It's tough stuff, you know, like me, tough stuff. And she made a whole video, which is a brilliant video, and that's what gave me the idea. So I'll link to that in the description below. Go over there, check them out because they're brilliant. And without her having the idea, I wouldn't have these now. And these, yeah, brilliant, I love them. And uh, so yeah, thanks Kev and thanks Mandy. <laughs> brilliant gotta love youtube you gotta love people gotta love it like i say the cupboards are a state at the moment i might get some slack for that but this is real this is my home and we all know our homes get a bit you know a bit grotty at times a bit overwhelmed a bit full of rubbish a bit full of tat so you know i'm just i'm just like everyone else i keep tat i let stuff collect um so yeah the, the the cupboards are a state at the moment so but that's all going to change now i've got things like this and it's all getting a bit too much and i want to change it 
So this is a food cupboard, like I say. Um, that is a shelf that I made and wrapped in vinyl because the shelves in these motorhomes are just not clever. So uh, that will be in an upcoming video because I'm going to make some more shelves for other, other cupboards. So that's just food. And then this one is wild. That's just well, plates, crockery, you know, you name it, it's in there. But look how disorganized it is. It's a state. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a right mess. That needs organising. I know where everything is, don't get me wrong. But it just needs, you know, and then this is sauces. Uh, I'm a very big sauce person. I like, I'm saucy. Let's just say that. I am a very saucy guy. <laughs> oh, this needs to stop. Oh, they're so, che they're so cheesy and lame. But like I say, mess. And... This could this shelf is not being utilized as much, you know. The space is not being utilized as much because look how much room is up there. And yeah, so needs to change. So that's going to change. Right, moving down. What else has changed? Uh, I've got carpet. I put a carpet in, which I just bought a off-cut roll off eBay, and I cut it myself. I've got a video of that on my channel. I think I might do it again because this one was quite light and as you can see there are some stains where I, I've got these mats they're like stepping stones because I come in with my work boots and I'm you know again it's my house I'm I'm just I use it as I just use it you know I, I don't put your foot around it it's there to be used um, right so now down to here so yeah I've got my stickers <laughs> shameless um, I might as well just show you this Max Fan Max Fan Deluxe. This is the best. I definitely recommend it. You know, Whew. 10 speed in, 10 speed out. Well, recommend it. I didn't fit this. I got Chris at uh, the motorhome place, STJ Motorhomes, to fit it. But um, oh, let's just leave it open. But I know Greg Virgo's just fitted his and he's got a video, so I'll drop a link to that in the in the description below. He knows what he's doing when he's fitting, fitting things. So have a look at that. The Max Fan Deluxe is probably the best thing uh, uh, down from aircon. You're not gonna get anything better than it than that. I I, I don't I don't believe. And it runs on 12 volt, so well worth it in my my mind. Well worth it. You and it's right located in the perfect position for me because obviously i'm cooking there and then all the smells can go whoosh, straight out perfect so and then when it is hot hot air rises whoosh, hot air straight out you know or i can bring in some serious air moving down towards my desk now uh, i've got a few bits on here um oh they're just i've got an upcoming video review of these o light torches and i'm going to be giving that one away so stay tuned for that uh i've got a review of this coming up the august portable 10 inch tv so yeah that's coming up so that sits there right next to my newly installed desk which i had customly installed um i've got oh yeah i've got a pokemon there <laughs> uh i've got my alexa which i've turned off because she always uh starts interrupting whilst i'm filming i wanted somewhere to sit to be able to do my laptop you know actually because i had i remember back in the day i was using a portable little folding desk and sitting sitting here and then putting the desk here and then yeah then having to fold it all away every minute and it weren't it weren't clever so i asked i asked chris and the guys to actually find something uh, actually install a desk now all this is let me show you is some wood screwed in there it's a frame screwed into the actual panel here yeah you can see it there i'm trying to do this <laughs> it's not the easiest and then you got a, a piece of wood there but that piece is on a hinge so let me just that piece is on a hinge so that one can go flat against the wall and then you can still use it as a sofa obviously that'll be against the wall and you've got a little bit of sticking out from the wall 
but that can fold away that won't be in the way and then this can go in the cupboard if i really wanted to put it away but i keep mine out full time and then it just slides on up against the window sturdy as anything sturdy as anything i mean i'm not you're not going to sit on it or anything i certainly ain't going to sit on it with my hippo ass but i eat my dinner there I've got my TV, I've got my TV now here, which is connected to the Blu-ray player. So I can have TV going there, dinner here, and then I can do my laptop, I can do videos, all that good stuff right here, which I, is what I wanted. Now moving up to here, uh, Velcro, I think most van life agree, is their best friend. You want to put something on the wall and you don't want to ruin the wall, or you don't, want, don't know where you're going to keep it, Velcro. I stuck them on probably the first couple of weeks of van life and they ain't moved. They just sit there. They're brilliant. Velcro. You can get some stuff which is like seven kilos. It holds seven kilos uh, per square, whatever inches of it. Cupboards. All right. Now, like I said, these ain't going to be pretty. These ain't going to be pretty. So that one's just kitchen stuff and odds and sods which needs salting that well that's a bit scary that one that's got my printer up the top and then it's just got paperwork and letters and books and notepads and pens and stationery and crap basically just crap i need to go through it all and just sort it all out so they need sorting they, they, these they really annoy me these do because I, what are they actually for they're nice idea but you can't really get much in them and what you do get in them is awkwardly shaped and you know but so i need to figure them out a bit more then we've got these two again crap <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna be around the bush i've got dvd case uh big files uh folders underneath the sofa so all them need condensing or getting rid of because i mean most stuff's online now that there is full of shorts i like shorts you know i've got to get my legs out you know legs out it's uh goes with a money maker didn't it decent legs and a decent money maker it's a winning combination <laughs> right yeah so i've got my work uniform up here and then i've got shorts and more shorts here now this is where it doesn't really make sense because I've got sh clothes here, but my actual wardrobe's here. So I should be maybe moving that to there in in actual fact. Uh, this, again, I've got books back here. Um, top tip. These dry bags, top tip. You, If you're going to go like smoky, uh, go to meets and do smoky campfires and all that keep all your smoky clothes wrap them up in them until you get to a laundrette then it won't smoke the rest of your motorhome out or the rest of your van out that's what i do works a treat so yeah i've got video uh, i've got books in there i've got winter clothes and jumpers and things that are stuffed up there then this is the tech the two tech cupboards which as you can see it's getting a bit out of control google sent me a a new home mini because i don't know why <laughs> amazon offered me another uh echo the newer one for 99p so i've got another one of them which i think that's going to go in the bedroom and there's my camera gear there's uh, gopro stuff tripod my new gimbal uh, drone more camera stuff more gadgets more tech so all of that needs organising. I, I probably don't need half of it, to be fair. You know, I can condense. And then we come to here. I usually just put odds and sods up here, like my stuff that like I'm using at work, like, you know, my key or my money. That just stays up there. Don't rob me. <laughs> and then I've got my Blu-ray player here, and uh, which is 12 volt. Uh, and my PlayStation, which, to be honest, I do not use. I haven't used it in ages and ages and ages. Then the TV, which I did say I wanted installed here in the original video, and I, but I was worrying I was going to have to install it here because of the aerial. 
I don't really use it for TV. I've got a Chromecast, so if I want to watch anything, I just fling it to it. But again, in all honesty, now I've got that TV and I've got a tablet, I don't use that. I haven't used that for probably six months, eight months. It's a good TV. It's all in one. It's got the free view stuff. It's come with the motorhome, to be fair. And it's, it's all good. It's all singing and dancing, but... Um, here's my solar, which I've had installed. Uh, right, I'll, I'll get into solar, I'll get to solar. There's my internet, which I've done a video on full-time internet, which is brilliant, works a treat. And back round to the wardrobe. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, is what it is really. I've got the solar uh, MPPT charge controllers at the back, CCTV system there, then just close and whatnot there. So, solar. Um, I have had solar installed, as most of you know. Uh, I'll be overlaying footage of what my panels look like now. Uh, let me just quickly run through it. I've got five panels installed, four for the, for the leisure system, one for the vehicle battery. Now, I've got a whole video dedicated to this, so I'm only going to skim over it, um, and I can, you can click that video. But the, the current update is th the three panels... The three big panels, 150 watts, so 450 watt panels of, of panels, have all died. They're the flexi panels, they've all died. Now, fast forward to a week and a half time, two weeks time, I will be dropping the motorhome down to Reading, and then I'm going on a little adventure with one man and his whippet and a few other YouTubers, John and Mevy and a few others. I'm not sure who's participating yet, but we're gonna be yeah, going on a little adventure stay tuned for that i'm going to be all youtube now i'm going to be like you know keeping it under wraps but you know telling you but not telling you just to tease you <laughs> really anyway so the motorhome's going in to have replacement panels put on so right this moment as i'm sitting here now burning power i'm surviving on a one panel of 120 watts so I did have 570, 450 is dead. I'm surviving on 120, and I have been surviving for about a month and a half. Hasn't been too bad, but I haven't been editing. I've been I've been to Starbucks a few times, and I've been to my mum's and my friends a few times to edit some videos. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the backside, but I got then the other panel is a 100 watt, which goes into the vehicle battery. Now i'm going to be replacing them with three 150 rigid panels they're going to be literally going over the top of the flexi panels because the ones that are on there now are pretty much well and truly welded to the roof and probably cause more damage pulling them off the roof than we would just leaving them there because they're flexi they add a couple of kilos but they're not they're not heavy so they can literally stay there cut the cables that's it they're dead a frame's going to be built and put over the top of the current panels and then three 150 watt rigids are going to be there and then I should be cooking I can't wait to get my power back and be full on singing and being able to play with all my gadgets charge all my stuff without even worrying oh how much you take electricity for granted how much I love solar when it works Right, so yeah, that is basically an updated tour of my motorhome, which I've been living in for two and a half years. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to drop a comment uh, below of any questions you might have, and I'll uh, try and get to them. I will say I apologise for not getting to everyone's comments, because I'm getting so many comments these days, which I really appreciate, and I do read them. I just... I'll be on my phone 24/7 if I'm if I'm try <laughs> I'm trying to uh, trying to reply to them all. But I have got something upcoming for to solve that an upcoming series which you should I hope you like. I hope you like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then and you you like the content then feel, feel free to uh subscribe and click the bell. Woo! And apart from that, I will catch you on the next one guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. Bye.